Alright, hi you guys and welcome back to another Pick a Card reading. So today's reading is Who Should You Choose? So this was requested by a viewer and with this reading we're going to kind of compare two different people that you're choosing between. We're going to see what a relationship would be like with one person versus the other person. You know, kind of looking at the pros and cons of both people. And you can decide that way and just look at those cards and see what you feel about that. But I am going to have another set of cards that tells you which person you should pick and why. So, yeah, this is the reading. So I've got four options here. Option one is orange calcite. Option number two is rose quartz. Option number three is clear quartz. And option number four is amethyst. So, go ahead and take a second to think about, you know, the people you're choosing between and decide which option would be the best option for you. So, yeah, we're going to go ahead and jump right into pile number one. I have a feeling this is going to be a long reading because I've got so many cards that I pulled for this reading. So I'm going to first clear the space and connect to the general energy of all of you who picked number one. All right, so let's go ahead and get started with you guys who picked the orange calcite. <sighs> Let me take a deep breath. So let's go ahead and start with the reading. So first of all, I would like you to think about which person you want to be person A and which person you want to be person B. I'll separate the cards for you so you can maybe decide that way. But these are the cards for person A. These are the cards for person B. So with the two people that you're deciding between, decide which person will be this pile and which person will be this pile. So yeah. I'll give you a few seconds. All right. So if you need more time to decide which person is which pile, you can pause the video, but I'm going to get started with person A. So the person that you decide to be person A, we're going to look at the pros and cons of this person, pros and cons of, you know, choosing them and what it would be like to be with them in a relationship with them so all right so here's what i'm seeing for person a i don't know why i keep taking deep breaths <laughs> okay well we do have the breathe card so maybe that's why i feel like with this person you would feel very calm and relaxed with this person with the breathe card here. This person may really help you <laughs> do what I've been doing and take a lot of deep breaths, really relax and maybe center yourself and just be yeah, very calm, very zen with this person. And I'm seeing that's what a relationship would be like. It's just very calm. I'm seeing that this person will also be a great partner to have because they are very loyal. That definitely this is going to be somebody that you could trust. You could definitely trust this person in a relationship and they're definitely going to be very loyal to you and very loving with these cards here. I am seeing with separation though, first off, some of you could be in separation with this person, whether it is an ex or just somebody, you know, who you're in separation with. Or for some of you, this could be a long distance connection. And so I do see that could be um, an aspect with this person is, of course, it may be long distance between you two. But, yeah, so I feel if this is long distance, then that that's up to you whether that's a pro or a con. But if this isn't a long distance connection and you're just in separation, like not together, then I'm seeing that this card is kind of not applicable applicable <laughs> not applicable okay i can't say that word it isn't res it's not for you guys who aren't like a far away from this person you're asking about like person a 
I feel like it's mostly for people who this is long distance, like that will be an aspect here is the long distance part of it. And it's up to you whether that's something that you would like or something that would bother you. But anyway, <laughs> moving on. So yeah, with Will here, I feel with this person, this person would really help you, I feel, find the direction you want to go in your life. I feel this person is also somebody who will help you express yourself. And I'm noticing with this card, you know, you may be very similar with these two owls here. You know, they do look very similar. I'm just noticing that you two might be very similar and that could be a good aspect of being with this person in a relationship or a marriage or something because you're similar and you get along well. And I feel like this person does help you find out what direction you want to go with your life and I feel like they're also probably an assertive person they'll probably stand up for you and also stand up for themselves with giving and receiving in reverse though I feel this is probably a con to this person or this relationship connection I feel that there may be an imbalance when it comes to giving and receiving you know you maybe feel like you may feel like you're giving more than you're receiving or the other person may feel that way but also with this card, I, it could be that one person is more focused on financial gain and business and that could be a problem in this relationship is that person putting too much focus on that and not enough on the relationship. And then with third eye chakra reversed, with this card I feel... Well, this person could just not be great at using their intuition. And with trust here, like, yeah, this person may have a hard time trusting their intuition, trusting themselves. But I do see this would be a person that you could trust. But maybe they just don't trust themselves. And now I'm kind of getting a feeling of self-doubt with this card. And so that could be another aspect of this person. Or maybe if it resonates with you, it could be you who is kind of doubting this connection, doubting this person. But, yeah, I am seeing, though, with loyal heart, like, definitely they would be loyal to you and trust you, but they may just not trust themselves for some reason. And, I mean, for some of you, it could be that they don't trust you, if that resonates, like, if they have a reason, but... Yeah, I think that's all I've got to say for person A. Now let's go on to person B. What would a relationship be like with person B? What are the pros and cons to choosing person B? Let's see. Okay. So with person B, I'm already seeing with justice and engagement, these are two cards about, you know, marriage. And so I'm seeing this would be definitely a good choice for a marriage partner, or at least that's what I'm seeing with these cards, is that this person, I do think person A would be very committed and very loyal, but I'm seeing person B, I feel like there's more um, potential is the word I was looking for, for like marriage with this person. With justice here, this person is a very fair person. This person is going to treat you <laughs> the way that they want to be treated is what I'm hearing. They're not going to be unfair. They're going to be, you know, just very, very fair. And I feel like they're also a very diplomatic person. And so I see that you could definitely work things out with them. And I do see with Heart Chakra, you know, this would be a very loving relationship. I feel like this person is a very loving person. And, yeah, with building blocks, for this card, I'm feeling like there could be a bit of a blockage when it comes to building things up with this person. Because with this card, I'm seeing this as, like, one of the few cons here is that there may be a hard, it may be, it may be hard, sorry, to build things up with this person and it may take time, I feel, to get to this level of marriage and commitment with this person I'm seeing that, yeah, you both would definitely really have to be willing to take that risk, be willing to jump into this relationship, but I feel like this person 
is somebody who wants to do that. Like they want to take a risk. They want to jump into a relationship and I feel they want a commitment. They want marriage, but it may just take them longer to get there. It may take you both longer to get there. But I do see with worth waiting for like this card is about how I feel like this person would be worth waiting for. Like this marriage commitment with this person would be worth waiting for, even if it does take a while. And yeah, that's what I'm seeing with this person. As far as like personality goes, I'm not really see seeing any cons here besides maybe the fact that they like to take things slow, but some of you may not see that as a con. It depends, but yeah, I'm just seeing that's really the only kind of con I'm seeing here. So let's go ahead and see though, which person should you choose? If you would like, you can go ahead and, you know, make your own decision based on the cards that I've already looked at for person A and person B. But this is like a message from the universe, I guess, for which person you should choose. And so, yeah, we're going to take a look at this and we're going to take a look at why the universe is giving you this answer. We got lots of cards for this pile. So we have A, person A. Interesting, not what I expected. But let's take a look at why you should choose person A. Okay. All right, so first thing I'm noticing is with the breathe card, I feel the relaxed energy of this relationship is what is, well, is what the universe is telling you would be good for you, you know, being able to breathe with this person, really relax. But we do have the card, it's up to you. And so, yeah, definitely, obviously, this is a um, decision that's up to you, ultimately, which person you choose. I'm seeing that you could honestly pick either person because I'm not seeing anything, like, too bad with either person as far as cons go. I'm seeing that both people would be a good option, and of course, the choice is ultimately up to you about which person you pick, but the universe does want to pick person A, and it's due to this calmness that you would feel with them, person A, and also this is a spiritual union with between you and person A. You have a really great connection with each other, I feel, and you would be very happy together with Rainbow. Yeah, you would feel very blessed and just overall lucky and happy together. And I feel with the Lotus Flower, yeah, this card is telling you to, um, well, it's about enfoldment. It's about coming out from the dark into the light. And that's also kind of what Ten of Wings Reversed is about here, you know, resolving some kind of difficulties that you have felt either because of this person, maybe because of person B or anybody else. But I am seeing the tower here. So yeah, there is something that has happened to you some kind of crisis, some kind of unexpected, you know, traumatic event for you in regards to either this person, per the other person, or somebody else. But I do see that this person, person A, will bring you a lot of calm and with meditation brings answers. Yeah, same kind of thing, like bring you calm and just make you overall relaxed and really happy. You have practice, practice, practice. And so yeah, I feel with this card, I'm noticing the words at the bottom, increase your confidence. And I think I did have a similar card to that with this one. Yeah, with Will, I do see that this person will help you grow in a way. This person will help you maybe increase your confidence, help you get on the right path in your life, help you find your direction with this card, maybe help you practice some kind of skill or talent you have. And really help you with that. So I feel like the reason why these cards are recommending person A is because this person will provide you with a lot of calm, with a lot of growth. This person will be very beneficial to you. But of course, I was seeing lots of positivity with person B too. So obviously, it's up to you ultimately whether you choose person A or person B. But the universe just wanted to pick person A because it will provide you with a lot of growth, with a lot of healing, I feel. 
And yeah, for some of you, you may also be in separation with person B or maybe just person B. And so it's worth waiting for, you know, it could be a while's off, like this, per like being with this person. And so maybe that's why th they're telling you to pick person A for the time being and enjoy being with them because you will get a lot of growth with this person. And then maybe you can decide to be with person B down the line if you want to. But yeah, that's what I'm getting for you guys who pick number one. I'm seeing person A being the person that you should choose according to the universe. But like I said, ultimately you have free will. It's up to you to decide who you would like to be with more. So yeah, that's all I have for today. If you do need a personal reading, you can look in the description box below for some information on that. But that is all I have for you today. Bye! All right, hello to you guys to pick pile number two, the rose quartz. So let's go ahead and see which person you should choose. So first of all, I would like you to decide which person you want to be person A and which person you want to be person B. So this is the pile for person A, this is the pile for person B. So just decide out of the two people that you're choosing between, you know, which pile represents which person. And so yeah, I'll give you a few seconds to decide. All right, if you need more time to decide, you can pause the video and decide which person is which. But I'm gonna start, get started with person A. So this is kind of like the pros and cons when it comes to person A, what a relationship with person A would be like. You know, what, it, what, what would it, what, sorry, I don't know why I, I can't talk today. What it would be like if you chose person A. All right. So, person A, I'm seeing with these cards. First off, with truth be told being in reverse, I feel either this has happened in the past where maybe this person has lied to you or you've lied to them you know the truth just wasn't told and I'm seeing there will definitely have to be forgiveness from that and I feel this would be a very healing relationship it would definitely be a relationship where you have to learn to forgive this person person a and be able to let go of the past if you know of course they have lied to you or just been dishonest and yeah and if this person hasn't lied to you or been dishonest in the past i hate to say this but it could be a con of this person like they could be a bit um dishonest they may not tell the truth all the time and I, that's why i'm definitely seeing with third eye chakra and gut instinct gut instincts you will definitely have to really use your intuition and decide if you know this person is telling the truth or not but that's not for all of you and i'm seeing with forgiveness overall you know there just will have to be forgiveness whether this person has lied to you or not i feel like you definitely have had a past with this person and a past that needs healing you know letting go of that past to be with this person in a relationship with this person i do see a relationship with this person would go smoothly with honeymoon here for some of you this could be long distance with honeymoon but i'm seeing that it would be like a smooth relationship where you enjoy your time together and i'm seeing 
with gut instincts i'm just noticing the word trust so yeah you'll definitely have to really trust each other or maybe you have to regain your trust for them or they have to regain their trust for you could go either way but i am seeing trusting each other being a really big thing here because you know it could be that there's just a fear of lying here maybe you fear that fear that they will lie to you or they fear that you will lie to them and you would both really have to let go of that and you know trust each other with third eye chakra i feel like this is definitely a one like i said a relationship with this person would be very healing you would definitely learn a lot about yourself with this relationship and with rest and reconsider i feel yeah this would be a really relaxed laid-back relationship same thing with honeymoon you know you would enjoy your time together it'd be very relaxed and with nine of wands here once again this is about you know really reconsidering and thinking about if you know this would be somebody you want to be with if, the, if this is somebody you could trust or maybe they are feeling that they have to do that about you and decide if you're somebody they could trust but yeah i'm definitely seeing intuition being a big thing here i feel like this person is probably an, an intuitive intuitive person sorry <laughs> and yeah so i think that's all i've got to say about person a Let's go ahead and take a look at person B. All right, so person B. Once again, with three of wands, could be long distance, doesn't have to be, won't be for all of you. But also with three of wands reversed, I feel, I feel like either this person has a, a feeling of things not moving forward with you or if you were with this person things really wouldn't move forward the way that you want them to or they want them to i feel like this person overall just isn't the most optimistic person and it could be due to their self-esteem you know not feeling like maybe they could be with you or not feeling like maybe this relationship could work because of something with them and also I'm noticing that both of these both of these cards have self in them so I feel this person may be really focused on themselves it doesn't have to be in a selfish way but it definitely could be you'll know if this person is a bit selfish but I'm seeing this person does have a lot of focus on themselves and if you were, if were in a relationship with them I feel like they would definitely need time to themselves time to really yeah just spend time with themselves and yeah i am seeing this person is confident whether they're overconfident or not or but they are confident and with self-expression this person may have trouble expressing themselves with self-expression here you know they may not be able to really say what they need to say and it like i said it could be due to their self-esteem i feel like this person they may come off as confident but they may not actually be as confident as they come off and definitely with treasure island, island reversed i feel this person this person doesn't have a lot of hope they're not the most optimistic person and i feel that this person yeah they could kind of maybe drag you down with that like with their pessimism because i feel like they're not optimistic they don't have a lot of hope for the future and with healing family issues i'm seeing that this relationship or this person is just going through some family issues maybe you are Maybe you would both have to really get through that together and heal these family issues. There may be family issues that are causing this person to not have a lot of hope when it comes to relationships. Or maybe it could be you. But yeah, I'm seeing... I'm honestly seeing that this could be a bit of a draining relationship for you because this person is just so pessimistic and they're not seeing the bright side they're not seeing the potential 
and I feel like it's because of a lack of self-confidence. But let's go ahead and take a look, though, at which person should you choose. So you could definitely choose just from what I have to say with these cards. And of course, the decision is ultimately up to you. You don't have to choose the person I tell you to. It's just a suggestion. Suggestion. <laughs> Sorry. It's a suggest. <laughs> I can't say that word. It's a suggest. Just suggestion. Suggestion. Okay. Never mind. It's just you don't have to <laughs> do the answer that I tell you to. This is like from the universe's perspective. Which person should you choose? We have person B. Okay, so here's why you should pick person B according to the universe. So, interesting that person B was the answer here. But, hmm. So, here's what I'm seeing. First off, with the no card, what I'm getting with this card is that possibly for some of you, since there's the answer was B, but then there was a no for why you should pick B, I feel for some of you that it could be that you should choose maybe neither of these people. Because I'm seeing... I'm seeing with both people there will be some kind of obstacles with both of them, a lot of healing that needs to be done. And so maybe for some of you, it could be that just picking neither person would be best for you. And moving on to somebody else besides these two people could be best for you. But if, you know, that doesn't resonate, then that doesn't resonate. But the answer was B, person B. And we do have a star here, which once again... It's a lack of hope. It's a lack of optimism, which is definitely what I was seeing with person B. It could be your energy, though. It could be you that has a lack of hope, a lack of optimism. And with this card here, you know, whether it's you or this person, I feel with rebirth, this is a great card to get because I feel these cards are connected. And there will be a rebirth. There will be a new feeling of hopefully, well, <laughs> It will be a new feeling of hope, of optimism, and I do see that although this may not seem like optimistic at first, like this relationship, this connection with person B, I do see that you will find harmony with this person, and I am noticing rebirth and judgment, which judgment is about rebirth, it's about um, a renewal, renewal. <laughs> and so I do see I feel this person will give you a renewal of hope if you are the one who's kind of lacking optimism or you will give this person, person B, a renewal of hope, a new sense of hope, a new sense of optimism about this, about relationships in general, I feel. And yeah, I mean... Admit your true feelings to yourself. Be honest with yourself. Only you know what it is that you truly desire. Yeah, once again, like I mentioned in the beginning, this is completely a decision that's up to you, whether you pick person A, person B, or you pick neither of them. But I do see, I don't feel that this relationship connection with person B would be easy. I have to be honest. And I feel that's why the no card is here is because for some of you, it could be more beneficial to you to find another person. But if you do want to pick person A or person B, the universe is saying person B over person A because there can be growth here, there can be renewal, there can be a rebirth of hope and optimism. And yeah, it's all about what you truly want. Like, do you want person A, want person B? Do you truly want to put in all the work into this connection and relationship with person B. But yeah, that's what I'm seeing though. I'm seeing that you could definitely really find harmony and work things out with person B if you do choose to be with person B. And if you choose, you know, neither of them, then I feel you will find somebody else though who maybe it will be a bit easier with. But 
yeah, that's what I'm seeing though for those of you who picked option number two. So, yeah, that's all I have for you today. If you need a personal reading, you can look in the description box below for some information on that. But that's all I have for you today. Bye. Alright, so hello to you guys who picked pile number three, the clear quartz. So, let's go ahead and take a look. So first off, out of the, the two people, decide which person you want to be person A and which person you want to be person B. So yeah, this is the pile for person A and this is the pile for person B. So yeah, take a second, decide which of the two people you want to be. Be represented by which letter so yeah I'll give you a few seconds all right so I'm gonna go ahead and get started with person number a so with these cards we're looking at what it would be like to you know be in a relationship with this person be married to them the pros and cons of this person or this relationship but yeah so here's what I'm seeing okay so with person a I am seeing with religious factors and also communication I'm definitely seeing I mean there could be a difference when it comes to religions but religious factors is overall to me just a card about different beliefs in general with religious factors and also communication, I feel you will, you both have differing uh, beliefs, you know, you both do believe different things, you both have different ways, I feel, of expressing yourself, so, you know, of course, you are different people, and I feel that that would be an aspect in this relationship, in this, um, yeah, with this person, just overall, the part about how you guys are different in some ways, and, yeah, with communication, I do see that communication would be good. You know, you would be able to both have a good communication with each other and really talk about maybe your different beliefs, the different thoughts and opinions you have. And with poised reversed, there could definitely be somebody here who has a lack of self-confidence. And with this card... I mean, yeah, that could be an aspect in this relationship is that just one person has a lack of self-confidence and that could kind of, um, like, be an issue when it comes to communication is that somebody is not fully communicating their thoughts, their beliefs the way they should because they're a bit, like, they're lack lacking self-confidence. Could be you or them or maybe even both of you. And with fine balance, I do see that this would be a balanced relationship. I see that you would both be able to find time to, you know, um, focus on your work, focus on your career or your families, your friends, and also the relationship. So yeah, I do see balance being here with this relationship, with this connection. And I feel this person is probably somebody who is good at multitasking, good at focusing on multiple things at the same time. And so... Yeah, I guess that's all I have to say about person A. Didn't have a lot of cards for that, but let's go ahead and take a look at person B. Alright, so person B. So, first off, that's interesting, we've got passion twice. So, if you were to be in a relationship with this person... There would be a lot of passion, I feel, probably a lot of sex, <laughs> and you would just overall really enjoy yourself with this person. This person would really enjoy their time with you, 
Eight of Wands. Yeah, Eight of Wands also is a card about communication. So I feel with both people, you would have good communication. Eight of Wands could also be a card of long distance. But I am seeing, like, yeah, good communication, lots of passion between you two. Eight of Wands is also even a card about passion. And, yeah, so I'm definitely seeing that if you were with this person. And with visualization, I'm seeing... Hmm. With this card, I feel... Yeah, I feel one of you may have your focus elsewhere. With this card, I'm just seeing that maybe one of you may have your mind other places besides the relationship. You know, whether it's career or work or things like that. You know, somebody may have a lot of focus on that. I don't see it being a huge problem, but I do see that maybe, I feel like probably this person does have their focus a lot on something else in their lives. It could be something they're passionate about, whether it is career or a hobby or something. And then we have the Y card. So, with this card, yeah, I feel, once again, communication will be good between you two also. And with the Y card, you know, you may ask each other questions and, you know, just really talk about a lot of different things with the Y card. I'll come back to this, but with Love Yourself First, once again, I'm feeling that somebody here, whether it's one of you or both of you, is kind of lacking self-confidence, and I do see that this is, I'm feeling it's this person for a lot of you who is lacking self-confidence and also just putting a lot of the focus on themselves, on other things in their life. So that could be a part of this relationship is that this person puts a lot of their focus elsewhere. And yeah, somebody's self-confidence may be um, significant in this relationship too. It's interesting that kind of both of the people are kind of similar, like the kind of relationship you would have with them. And yeah, with the Y card, what else am I feeling with this Y card? So other than asking each other questions... I feel this person may be very, very, <laughs> may be a very curious person, and they also may just be somebody who, once again, likes to learn, is focused on either school, um, business, career, something like that. And yeah, I mean, I think that's really all I'm getting for person number, per, <laughs> person letter B, not number B. Anyways, let's go ahead and move on to which person should you choose. Now, I would like to say that you could, first of all, go ahead and choose based on the other two um, descriptions I've gave, like what a relationship with them would be like, person A versus person B. You could choose based on that or, you know, choose however you want. I would like to say that this is a decision that's completely up to you, no matter what person I say. You should choose. You don't have to. But this is just a message from the universe about what person you should choose. And then I'm, we're going to see why. Okay, so we've got person A. And why you should choose person A over person B. Alright, so. Hmm. Let's see here. The cards aren't. Why you should choose person A? Well, first off, I'm seeing with the crown chakra, I did see you both, well, you having a good relationship where there's good communication with both people. And with crown chakra, I, I'm seeing that maybe the connection that you two have on a mental level would be stronger between you and person A. I'm seeing that this person would probably very be very helpful to you and yeah it could be good to be with somebody who has differing beliefs has different different opinions so you can learn can get some different viewpoints on certain things and I'm also seeing that you will help each other or you will help them or they'll help you feel more confident because I was seeing that that was um an aspect here is, is like a lack of self-confidence. Sorry, I can't speak. 
but yeah, I do see you guys helping each other with that. And with the chariot determination, I feel like this would be a very successful relationship. You would feel like things are really able to move forward between you two. And with the island card, solitude, I feel I feel like you two would definitely feel very comfortable with each other. Very comfortable maybe just being with you and the other person. You know, not with a bunch of people around. I'm seeing that maybe sometimes you would like to have other people around, but you do enjoy your time alone, your time between just you and them. And with affirmations here, I'm seeing, I'm seeing that you would both make each other feel a lot more positive, feel a lot more accomplished, successful, a lot more confident, definitely. And so that's why I guess person A would be the best person to pick here according to the universe because you would really feel a lot more positive with each other you would really help each other grow and yeah just overall really help each other in different ways and you'll feel very happy and successful in this relationship with them so yeah that's what i'm seeing for you guys to pick pile three if you need a personal ring you can look in the description box below for some information on that but that is all i have for you today if you enjoyed this video please like comment and subscribe bye All right, hi to you guys who picked pile number four, the amethyst. So, let's go ahead and take a look at your reading. So, we've got person A and person B. So, take a second to decide which person you want to be which. Yeah, like which person is person A, which person is person B. Go ahead and make your decision. I'll give you a few seconds. All right, if you need more time, you can pause, but I'm gonna go ahead and start with person A. The person you chose to be person A, what would a relationship be like with them, a marriage? What are the pros and cons to this person? All right. Okay, so. What I'm seeing here is that with the Hermit and also the Five of Pentacles, I feel this may be a person who really likes to spend time alone, who is very okay with being alone. And so with this relationship, this connection, there may be times when you feel alone because this person likes to be alone. They like to... Sorry about that. Let me get back to... The reading, so yeah, I feel that this person likes to be alone and so that may make you end up feeling alone because they may be really focused on their time alone, not wanting to spend all of their time with you, which some of you may be okay with that, but some of you may end up feeling a bit alone because this person does like, you know, their time alone. I feel like this is a very creative person and I'm also seeing that this would be a very passionate relationship with this person I do see with not for you though yeah once again it's kind of giving me the same energy that maybe this person will make you feel a bit rejected because they do like being alone because they do you know enjoy kind of being a hermit and with message in a ball reverse like yeah maybe 
this person may not communicate with you in the way that you want. You could be maybe even in no communication right now. But with let go of control issues, yeah, I feel like this person is not a controlling person. This person would be very, I'm not sure the word, but they just won't be controlling. And they'll definitely really just allow things to happen, allow things to flow in regards to this relationship. But yeah, that's, I think, all I'm really getting with this. So, yeah, let's go ahead and go on to person B. So, what a relationship would be like with person B. We have ten of hearts, desires, romantic feelings, never-ending story. Okay, so yeah, ten of hearts. I feel a relationship or a marriage with this person would feel very happy. You'd be very content and fulfilled in this relationship. And yeah, definitely with desires here, I'm noticing that it does say fulfilled there'd be a lot of passion in this relationship. You'd really desire each other, I feel, and there would be lots of feelings here between you two. You know, you would definitely really love each other with all these cards being here, and you'd be very happy with each other. I do see with Never Ending Story, though, there may be some things from your past or from their past that do hold one of you or both of you back, and that could cause, you know, some issues when it comes to this relationship. Because there could be some things that creep up from the past that cause some kind of anxiety or trouble. But I do feel with this card, you could definitely both really, you know, heal from that, let go of that, and have overall just a very happy relationship with each other. And I'm saying that even though there could be a few issues when it comes to thinking about things from the past, whether it happened with each other or with other people... I do see that you two could get over that and just really enjoy being together because I'm seeing you would be very happy together and very fulfilled overall in relationship with each other or in marriage. Ten of Hearts is, you know, a card about marriage. So, yeah, I'm seeing lots of happiness with that person. So, let's go ahead and see which person should you choose. This is a course... 100% your decision. You don't have to tell you don't have to do what I tell you to. It's 100% your decision on which person you choose. You could go ahead and choose based on the messages that I've already given about each person or you could watch this part and I'll show you what the universe had to say about which person you should choose and why. So, for you guys to pick pile number 4, we have person B. Yeah, <laughs> that makes sense. Person B is the person you should choose and why. All right, so. All right, so why you should choose person B. Yeah, I'm seeing with the hermit and meditation brings answers. This is a course with the, <laughs> sorry, let me figure out what I'm going to say here. With the Hermit and Meditation Brings Answers, I feel this is just, of course, a message for you about really thinking about what person you would like to choose and really maybe even meditating and deciding which person would be best for you. But I'm also seeing with the Hermit being here, I feel that, yeah, this never-ending story, there could be some issues that cause either you to want to be alone sometimes or cause them to want to be alone sometimes. But I don't see that being a huge issue and I do see that that time alone will be healing and you both will ultimately be able to open up to each other and really enjoy being together with Radiance here. You know, just overall really be happy with each other and even have children with the children card here. Also with the children card, it's about, you know, playfulness, having fun, and yeah, I feel with Queen of Roses Reverse, it would definitely be necessary for you both to have fun in this connection, really enjoy feeling passionate and enjoy just being playful, having fun. And I do see like the possibility of, like I said, you know, marriage down the line, commitment. And yeah, so definitely look for a sign, look for signs that show you this person 
is the one for you or maybe person A is the one, you know, like I said, it's a completely your decision. I'm just, you know, giving the message from the universe about which person you should choose and why. And with patience and planning reversed, I feel, I feel you won't feel disappointed with this person. You won't feel like things aren't going your way. You will start to feel like, you know, you are very happy with this person, very successful. There may be times when things are a bit difficult because of past issues, but I do see ultimately you guys being able to let go of that, whether it's one of you or both of you, and being able to really just enjoy being together and find that radiance with each other. So, yeah, I think that's really all I've got to say for that. So if you need a personal reading, you can look in the description box below for some information on that. But that is all I have for you today. Bye!